What's going on, you guys? Slim here at the NAWCQ. My boys, Age Persuasion and Team Bortle. You already know who we're here with. Uh, my name's Dylan Fricker. And how did you do here at the NAWCQ? So I got third place after Swiss. I played going second Sky Striker. I lost in top 64 to just something that was totally out of my control. Uh, this was my first uh, premier top. I broke the bubble curse. Uh, I was really happy. And it nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, I went 11 0 and. Um, I just lost last round, I didn't draw playable. But uh, I was really happy with the deck, and I think uh, if I didn't lose to my worst matchup ever, which is in Demion, because uh, I'm playing Sky Striker, if I didn't lose to that, I think I had the best deck to win the event, because um, it was just so good. Uh, but yeah. It's yeah, good, uh, it's good it's in good. here. Okay, so best monster in the game still is 3 Bay. <laughs> so she's still Bay? Still Bay. Okay. Uh, 3 Engage, 3 Multi Roll, 3 Widow Anchor. Uh, you can't really differ on this. It's just, just really good. Multi roll is more important than ever, so you can't really change that number. Uh, two shark cannon. I was not a big fan of this at first, but then like this is just so good against almost every deck in the format. Um, there are a lot of times where you can um, you can break the thunderboard when they make triple burst, and you can shark cannon back triple burst and summon Kagari and add back again. So this has application against every single deck in the format. It's really good. Um, but yeah. Uh, two area. I'm a big advocate for three of this in the striker deck because of consistency. But um, with the build that we played, uh, this is like a dead card in your hand a lot of the time. And you, when you're going second, you want to be able to break the board and play through it and like have live cards in your hand. You want to be just holding cards because then you just lose a twin, right? So uh, the two of that, and then the one of. Uh, I didn't play Hercules base. I don't think that card's necessary. Um, this deck is really good because it's it's just as unfair as all the danger uh, thunder decks and stuff like that. But you don't have to win the dice roll. Yeah. It's it's really good because uh, you play so many cards. I'll show you in a minute, like traps and stuff like that, to go second and do so well and break boards. You just don't need to win the die roll, and you also have just a really good burn matchup and a really good rogue matchup because of all of your searchable cards and ray of thunder. Right. So uh, that's why I chose this for this event. Um, so I was I don't I never needed Hercules base once. That's an unfair card. The most unfair card. It's ridiculous. Um, this just makes Striker as unfair as some of the combo decks right now, which is why it's necessary to play it in my opinion. Uh, I play three Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, a lot of people play MSC in this deck. Uh, for this weekend, especially this event, I did not think that was correct, because when you go second against uh, Orcus, they can just use to protect their counter trap if you MST it. And you don't want to be wasting like three cards to kill one that you could just with a cosmic cycle. Uh, this is also really relevant in the mirror match because a lot of the time the mirror match is won by like both players having the area zero and like hitting an engage off of it. You can safely clear area zero with cosmic. You can clear multi roll, uh, banishes pendulum scales like all the Indian ones that put themselves back. I think this is really good against that because I definitely don't want servant coming back. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this was really good for me. I really liked it. Uh, so two terraforming, uh, two foolish barricades. Uh, I advocated for Desires a lot in this deck, but for this event in particular, I wasn't playing uh, too many, like, I wasn't playing enough striker cards to play Desires because I needed a grind game, and especially with some of the traps I played, this, it, Desires just conflicts way too much. So I just wasn't a fan of it. And it was really, this card was insane. Uh, upstart, Rhoda, Foolish, uh, Fusion, and then the last spell we played was Double or Nothing. Oh! So, uh, so I want to give a huge shout out to, uh, to my teammates from Game Nation. Uh, Brian, you originally came up with the idea, um, and we all uh, played it and play tested it for the event. Uh, it was ridiculous. So against every uh, deck in the format, every deck plays level fours, right? Every single deck. This allows you to uh, mine them for a turn. Uh, mine them for a turn. You set up an engage off Suzuki. And then on their turn, um, they, they're going to keep their cards in hand because it's like Shrek, you can't kill them. So you go Shark in summon level 4, normal summon Ray, um, then you make, you make this card, you make, uh, you use the effect to attach any material, you summon this, and then you add this from deck to hand. It's 5,000, you attack into a monster, you negate it, you activate double or nothing, this is 10,000 attack, and it attacks for game. It's a one punch. It's a one card shot. And, 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 and Striker is really good, because the deck is known for not having enough pressure, right? So, yeah, because we're, playing, because we're playing so many copies of mine, we want to say, okay, we're not trying to lose the game to twin off the top deck, we're trying to end the game. And this card was just crazy. Uh, I'm really happy I played it, and I want to give a big shout out to Ryan. And shout out to Jesse for the world. Winning the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. that was crazy. It's crazy. Um, Three Emperor. Uh, this is the only hand trap we played. Uh, you know, I'll explain why I didn't play Baylor over in a second. But triple Metaverse and Triple Fantric. Uh, so I'm trying to see Mystic Mind. And if 
watch, like I said against Thunder, like game one in the Thunder Mirror, if you lose a die roll, you just lose the game, and usually the match. Um, so with this, you can draw any combination of these two cards in your opening hand, and you can beat the entire Thunder Dragon Force. Um, so if you draw any combination of one of these cards against Orcus, you win the game, you win the game, you win the game, you win and um, it just, this can stall you to a point where you can get your engagements, get your moves, get your advantage. And this card was crazy because the main way you beat this deck is like Twin Twister, Cosmic Cycle. They would target this, I would just chain it, act, set another card. So it was crazy, it would give me advantage over my opponent. And it was just ridiculous, more copies of Mystic Mind. So uh, this was crazy, it was so good. I gotta give a shout out to Jesse for the tech. Uh, and that was 43 cards in the main deck. 43 in the main deck? Yeah, uh, it was. I was not happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing this deck for a while, and I'm, I'm all for consistency. <coughs> but um, it was really good because uh, seven people made Dweller against me, and we well, all know how that how effective that is against Strike. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So I guess I'll just do extra first. Yeah. Extra. So the token obviously. Sorry. Uh, triple Shizuku. Don't worry, I have another one for my brothers. Um, triple Hayate and Tina. Um, this is eight. So I, uh, I'm an advocate for two of this. I definitely think it's needed. But for the weekend, we were teching some cards in the extra deck, like in the target packages and stuff. So we didn't have space for it. It never cost me a game, um, but I did miss it a few times. But overall, I think it's fine. Like I think if you play it correctly, you just don't need more than this. And if you get to the point in the game where you do need more, I think you lost anyway. Um, armor. Uh, Nindirsu, Gita, and Phoenix. This card's crazy. Uh, it's just Needle Fiber. Yeah, uh, they're all so good. These are standard cards you have to play in the deck. And then, um, so this is spicy. We played Security Dragon. So, um, when, so Orcus makes you go first and they activate Black Card to give you five tokens. So, when they give you three tokens on the resolution of Summon of Phoenix, you activate uh, Sanctum, you summon Scythe, and then on your turn, uh, you make the Link Monster and a token into this, then you make the Scythe and a token into a Phoenix, you pop the, uh, the Black Garden, then you make a Nigirsu, then you make a Bomber Dragon. So you go plus, and then you can bounce another card with Security Dragon. So you go plus three and you Scythe them. So it's crazy. And um, this was just an out to tokens, like I said, because like, Black Garden can be very oppressive. So we just needed a card in our extra to do it. And like I said, if you resolve this when they Black Garden you, you insta win. I did it like twice as It was ridiculous. And like I said, uh, I'll, like I said, like this card uh, and Sanctum especially just is really good because it doesn't lose a twin, which is like a big thing I was trying to play my striker deck to do, and uh, it was really good. Like every time it got twin, I just instantly won. Um, so then the last two cards, obviously, you took it back. This is some cheese. How many games did you cheat? Um, I played against a magician player round five, and he put up four negates, four negates. and I broke it, and all I had was Ray and a shark in, and I shark in him back his level four, normal summon to Ray, he's like, no, and I made Utopia double, and he's like, no, and then I searched it, and I did uh, 85, and he was like, well, that's game, and uh, I did it like against Thunder Dragon, against Sal in the grade, against Orcus, like, this is so good, I did it in the mirror match, because in the mirror match especially, this card is so oppressive, because in the mirror match, uh, you don't want to commit your cards to the field, but this forces you to. So either you lose to my Twin Twisters, and, well, I don't play Twin Twisters, sorry. <laughs> you lose to my Heavy Storm Dusters, my MSCs, and my Cosmic Cyclones, or you just get OTK. Yeah. So either one, it's like pick your poison, which is like really good, and it's not a dynamic that's happened in the mirror match before this. So uh, we had an insane advantage. Uh, so that was the extra. Uh, so for the side deck, I played three Ghost Ogre. Um, Ghost Ogre was really good because our main deck was really focused on Salem the Great, Orcus, and Thunder Dragon. Whereas we wanted our side deck to be for more rogue matchups, uh, Magician, Draco, Altergeist, the Mirror Match. Uh, because we would play a few of those at the event, and I didn't want to have dead, like too many deck cards against them. This was also really good against Thunder Dragon uh, because, like I said, like um, killing the Elbic usually means sometimes you can stop them from summoning Agrapane, and then one trap card breaks the entire board. Um, so. This effectively cuts them off three monsters if you hit LP, which is like really nice. Um, so I was a huge fan of it and it was really good all weekend. Uh, it was really good in the mirror match as well, obviously for multi roll. Uh, I played two prank card tops. Uh, this card was crazy uh, when you go second and stuff like that. Like I said, more cards for decks that my main deck isn't for. Yeah. Uh, because it was decks that like I wasn't expecting. Um, two MST. Uh, but once again, more back row removal. Uh, we were just like 
trying to draw these cards going second against Salad, like outs to order, outs to anti spell, especially with Franker Tops. Uh, because if I get rolling against that deck, I just like I played six Salamon Great and Swiss Knight tooled every single one of them. It's free. I got six buys. But um who needs a VIP? But uh so uh this card was just really good. Uh, and then uh last two so I guess I'll just show this. Three duster. Uh, so we play Trap Trick. So we can just play like the most broken and broken traps in the game. This card's crazy. For the mirror match, Trickstar, Alter Guys, everything. This card is really good. Uh, it won me a few games. Um, and I really liked it. And it's really good going first against like Magician and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I really like that card. And then Three Sanctum and the Scythe and Lancia. Uh, so depending on the scenario, you can summon either one of these. And uh, like if you have a mine up and they have one monster and you're scared of them like uh, like scared of them having like twin and then like banishing cards so they can't uh, stop this with Ash you can go this and stand by summon this tribute it they can't banish and then they can twin you but it doesn't matter because they're under Lancia yeah. and then Scythe was just ridiculous um, it got twin like twice and uh, every time salad I make the salad player start and then in game two they say go first and then they twin for me and I activate Sanctum and then I win the game because it is so ridiculous. And like I explained earlier with the security, dra security dragon interaction with like Phoenix and Nigerian and stuff, like it's just so crazy. And uh, I think it really stuck to the theme of the deck where it's like, we're not trying to lose to Twin Twisters, we're trying to keep cards advantage as much as possible. And we're trying to make Striker unfair, and these cards are all really unfair. So uh, that's the deck. Spice, spice. Um, so I have a lot of shoutouts. So shoutouts to everybody from Canada and the States who supports me. You guys are the homies and the reason why I play the game. Shoutouts to my main testing partners, which were Marcus Curies, uh, Jesse Cotton, Abdul, and Ryan Yu. We came up with this deck together, and it was crazy. Uh, like I said, I finished third after Swiss. I lost to something really uncontrollable, but I genuinely feel like this was the deck to win the event. Uh, it was really good. Um, Shoutouts to my team, Team Game Nation. Uh, one of the best teams, probably the best right now. Um, go to yugiomarket.com and just go Dylan5. If you use code PENCOD5 or ProPotato5, I'll be very angry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hey, for sure, man. Congratulations again, Cups of Florida. Thank you, thank you. With the spice. Spice. And thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.